All right, let's bring in David Barnson, market watcher in our first block of the show this morning. OK, is a GOP win good for the markets? And if it is, in what way? I think that the historical reality of divided government has always been good for markets. And I think in this particular election, an overwhelming GOP victory would indicate a country still in love with free enterprise. Still in, still in love with the tenets of a market economy in the sense that one party is more favorable to the rhetoric and the philosophy of free enterprise, and one party, the Democrats, has certainly gone away from that direction. Now, if you end up winning the House and not the Senate, that's more of a divided situation. It doesn't give that overwhelming indicator I'm looking for. There's not a lot that's going to happen policy-wise, right? The Democrats still have the White House. Divided government just sort of keeps you in gridlock. Gridlock can be good. But what I want to see is a national outpouring of enthusiasm for free enterprise. That, to me, is the, the key for markets. And Bernie Sanders no longer the chair of the Senate Budget Committee. That would be good, too, I suspect. Now, you, you've always been our dividend guy, David. So what do you have for us for today? Well, it's funny. You mentioned Bernie Sanders, the Budget Committee. There's another committee in the Senate, which is the Energy yeah. Committee that approves projects. I have a dividend pick today that I've talked to you about several times, yeah. UMI. It's a midstream energy ETF. If the Republicans get back control of that Senate committee, they can start approving more projects that so far have been held up entirely. So I really like a 5% dividend yield, and it's up 21% on the year, plus the 5% dividend yield, and we now would be more favorable in our energy, uh, uh, you know, overall strategy in the country. Um, you also pick out Cardinal Health. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it up because we're in earnings season, and they released on Friday. They were up 5% on Friday, and they're just all of a sudden really making new records with revenues. They're a distributor around pharmaceuticals that have a great business model. You may not like that the current yield is only 2.5%, but I like that the growth of that yield is 10% per year. Okay. UMI and Cardinal Health will take them. David, thanks very much indeed. Good to see you.